Far beneath the Pacific Ocean, around 300 miles off the coast of Astoria, Oregon, lies Axial Seamount, an extraordinary submarine volcano and the most volcanically active site in the Pacific Northwest. Submerged nearly a mile below the ocean's surface, this hidden geological giant has erupted three times in the past 25 years, leaving indelible marks on the seafloor and sparking significant interest within the scientific community. Now, after a stretch of apparent dormancy, subtle yet persistent signals suggest that Axial Seamount may be on the verge of awakening once again. These signs not only hint at the volcano's reawakening, but also offer a powerful reminder of the immense geological forces at play beneath the sea. Data gathered from long-term monitoring indicate that the magma chamber beneath the seamount is steadily refilling. Thousands of minor earthquakes ripple through the region each day, clear indicators of a dynamic and pressurized system that may be preparing for its next eruption. While much attention often focuses on the more familiar volcanic peaks of the Cascades, such as Mount St. Helens or Mount Rainier, Axial Seamount remains largely unknown to the public, concealed beneath ocean depth. Yet, it eclipses these iconic mountains in activity. Scientists like those from Oregon State University have studied it for decades, using deep sea instruments to collect crucial data and decode the mysteries of submarine volcanism. Axial is a shield volcano structurally akin to those in Hawaii and Iceland. Rather than erupting with violent explosions, it typically releases lava through fissures in its slopes as magma pressure builds and cracks open the crust. These eruptions release thick, slow-moving lava that spreads across the seabed, gradually constructing vast layers of volcanic rock. Despite common perceptions of volcanic eruptions involving dramatic blasts and tsunamis, Axial's behavior is far less theatrical. Experts clarify that its deep ocean location makes such catastrophic events highly unlikely. Eruptions here do not threaten coastal communities or generate large waves. Instead, they are quiet but scientifically rich episodes that deepen understanding of volcanic activity beneath the sea. Researchers are dedicated to unlocking the secrets of Axial Seamount's life cycle, how magma behaves before, during, and after an eruption. These are some of the most elusive questions in volcanology. Insights gained from this work, as emphasized by geophysicists like those from the University of North Carolina, could revolutionize how volcanic systems are understood globally. A key objective of this research is improving eruption forecasting methods. Backed by institutions like the National Science Foundation, this work holds the potential to enhance early warning systems, tools that could one day safeguard lives and property from volcanic hazards. The Seamount's most recent eruption in 2015 presented scientists with an extraordinary opportunity. Instruments placed across the seafloor captured the aftermath in real time. Almost immediately, the surface of the volcano began to swell, like a balloon inflating, an unmistakable sign that magma was returning, preparing for the possibility of yet another eruption. Through ongoing research, scientists continue to illuminate the enigmatic processes occurring miles beneath the waves, advancing not only scientific knowledge but also humanity's resilience in the face of Earth's untamed forces. Following the 2015 eruption of Axial Seamount, volcanologist Bill Chadwick, drawing from years of research, estimated that another eruption could likely occur between 2020 and 2024. His prediction was anchored in scientific evidence, specifically the notable and rapid inflation of the seafloor, a classic signal that magma was steadily accumulating beneath the surface. Yet, nature proved unpredictable. Shortly after his forecast, the rate of magma buildup unexpectedly decelerated, and the seamount entered a period of prolonged dormancy. This deviation prompted reflection on the limitations of volcanic forecasting, and the elusive dynamics of subterranean activity, where visibility is impossible and inference becomes the only tool. By January of the following year, however, new data hinted at a renewed stirring. The Ocean Observatory's initiative cabled array, a permanent underwater observatory system stretching from Pacific City, Oregon, to the Axial Seamount, 
began to detect a significant increase in inflation rates. Simultaneously, a team from the University of Washington recorded a spike in micro-earthquakes around the volcano's flanks. This seismic swarm mirrored the patterns observed prior to the 2015 event, raising alarms within the scientific community. Analyzing these patterns, Chadwick revised his original forecast with cautious optimism. The observed geophysical signals bore striking resemblance to those seen during the last pre-eruptive phase, leading to a revised estimate. An eruption might occur in 2025 or 2026. Yet, the gravity of forecasting such events remained clear. In high-risk volcanic zones, issuing premature or uncertain warnings could lead to unnecessary evacuations, economic disruption, and public anxiety. Fortunately, axial seamount exists in a rare context, isolated, submerged, and devoid of human settlement. Here, the consequences of a miscalculation are minimal. As Chadwick once remarked with dry humor, the only nearby inhabitants are tube worms and octopuses, indifferent to seismic updates and oblivious to headlines. For researchers, Axial serves not merely as a curiosity, but as a vital testing ground. It offers a chance to refine the tools and methods that could, in more vulnerable regions, make the difference between disaster and safety. Their mission extends beyond prediction. They seek to understand the rhythms of the Earth itself. Rising from the abyssal plain some 300 miles off the Oregon coast, Axial Seamount stands as a submerged titan of volcanic activity. Elevating roughly 1,100 meters, 3,600 feet above the seafloor, it rivals prominent terrestrial volcanoes in scale and geological significance. Beneath more than a mile of ocean, its broad caldera spans three kilometers wide and stretches eight kilometers in length. This vast depression is more than a structural feature. It is a living chronicle of the volcano's inner workings, sculpted by cycles of swelling magma chambers and explosive collapses. Axial Seamount commands attention due to its strategic position along the Juan de Fuca Ridge, a tectonically active boundary where Earth's crust is continuously reshaped. At this site, the Pacific Plate and the Juan de Fuca Plate slowly diverge, generating a persistent rift on the ocean floor. Through this gap, molten rock ascends from the mantle, cools, and solidifies, gradually forming new oceanic crust. This enduring process, unfolding over millions of years, has built the massive underwater edifice known today as Axial Seamount. What sets this submarine volcano apart is its role at the convergence of two fundamental geological forces, seafloor spreading and volcanic activity. As the plates drift apart, magma not only rises to fill the gap, but also collects in a substantial chamber located beneath the volcano. This subterranean reservoir of molten rock expands as it fills, increasing pressure until the chamber eventually fractures. The result is a powerful underwater eruption ejecting lava and reshaping the surrounding landscape. Despite its concealment beneath a mile of ocean and near total darkness, Axial Seamount is alive with activity. Around its hydrothermal vents, mineral-rich water superheated by volcanic heat gushes into the frigid ocean, creating surreal features such as black smokers and luminous plumes. These vents support entire ecosystems that exist without sunlight, where organisms depend on chemosynthesis to survive, thriving in an environment defined by extreme temperature and chemical intensity. The very structure and existence of Axial Seamount is a chronicle of Earth's dynamic forces, etched into layers of cooled lava and sculpted by time. Hidden beneath the waves, it stands as a testament to the planet's raw geological energy and a reminder of the unseen forces that continually shape the ocean floor. In recent decades, Axial Seamount has revealed its volatile character through three confirmed eruptions, occurring in 1998, 2011, and 2015. Each event unfolded deep below the ocean's surface, offering researchers rare opportunities to observe submarine volcanic behavior and gain a deeper understanding of how these unseen giants function. The 1998 eruption, in particular, marked a milestone in scientific exploration. It followed the inflation of the magma chamber as molten material accumulated until the surrounding crust gave way. 
The eruption was preceded by a sequence of small earthquakes, signs of magma ascending, and ultimately led to the flow of lava across the seafloor. As the molten rock solidified, it reshaped the terrain, while hydrothermal vents released jets of mineral-laden water. Though the ocean absorbed much of the eruption's force, preventing a tsunami, the event highlighted how gradual geological shifts can culminate in dramatic changes beneath the sea. The 2011 eruption of Axial Seamount mirrored earlier events in some ways, but introduced new layers of complexity. Long-term monitoring had revealed a steady buildup of pressure within the magma chamber, indicated by ground deformation and an uptick in seismic activity, classic signs of volcanic unrest. As magma surged upward, the ocean floor began to fracture, allowing molten rock to escape through fissures and form expansive lava flows. These flows radiated from the central caldera, covering a significant area of the seafloor. Accompanying the eruption was a burst of hydrothermal activity, intense enough to generate plumes detectable from afar. Although the depth of the ocean absorbed much of the eruption's energy and prevented tsunami formation, the event reinforced the volcano's potential for abrupt and powerful activity beneath the waves. The 2015 eruption marked a turning point in the study of axial seamount. Equipped with an array of cutting-edge instruments including pressure gauges, seismic sensors, and temperature monitors, researchers were able to observe the eruption in near real-time, capturing the unfolding drama with unprecedented clarity. As had been meticulously tracked, the eruption began with renewed inflation of the magma chamber. When the chamber finally gave way, over 20 square kilometers of the seafloor were inundated with lava, dramatically reshaping the landscape within days. The eruption also unleashed a flurry of earthquakes, some surpassing magnitude 4.0, as the terrain adjusted to the sudden release of magma. Though no tsunami was generated, the 2015 event offered vital insight into how submarine volcanoes vent their energy. The immense pressure from the ocean above acted as a suppressant, tempering the eruption's explosiveness and preventing waves that could have wreaked havoc in shallower waters. Still, the eruption underscored the critical need to monitor these concealed systems. Even small disturbances beneath the seafloor have the potential to trigger broader geological consequences, from shifts along nearby faults to disruptions of delicate ecosystems. Each eruption from axial seamount has deepened scientific insight into the nature of underwater volcanism. Patterns of magma buildup, crustal deformation, and eruption provide a framework for understanding these events, yet the seamount continues to defy full predictability. It remains a powerful force hidden beneath the Pacific, reminding humanity of the dynamic processes shaping the planet's oceanic crust. The knowledge gained is not just of academic value, it is essential for safeguarding coastal regions and understanding Earth's most remote, mysterious frontiers. Should axial seamount erupt again, the consequences would first be felt in the marine environment encircling it. Rivers of lava would surge across the ocean floor, erasing everything in their path. The fragile ecosystems nestled around hydrothermal vents, home to species specially adapted to extreme heat and chemical-rich waters would be among the first casualties. These vents, which support rare organisms like tube worms, shrimp, and chemosynthetic bacteria, serve not only as biological wonders but as living laboratories that reveal how life can persist under extreme conditions. Their loss would resonate beyond marine biology, representing a profound setback in the quest to understand life's resilience on Earth and possibly elsewhere. An eruption at Axial Seamount would not be a solitary deep-sea event. It could have far-reaching consequences that ripple beyond the ocean floor. A violent eruption has the potential to displace massive volumes of seawater, producing shock waves and, under specific circumstances, triggering a tsunami. Although the seamount's depth in the ocean acts as a natural buffer that dampens explosive energy, Certain geological conditions could intensify the threat. If part of the volcanic structure were to collapse, or if a sudden surge of volcanic gases were violently released, 
The resulting disturbance might produce waves capable of reaching distant coastlines. Communities along the Pacific Northwest, already precariously situated near active tectonic zones, remain particularly susceptible and dependent on sophisticated monitoring technologies to detect early signs of danger. The likelihood and magnitude of a tsunami generated by axial seamount depend on several variables. The strength of the eruption, the depth at which it occurs, and the degree of geological displacement involved. Deep-sea eruptions are generally cushioned by the immense pressure of the overlying water column, which suppresses much of the explosive force. This typically minimizes the risk of a large-scale tsunami formation. However, exceptions are possible. A significant structural collapse of the seamount could displace enough water to send waves hurtling toward shore at speeds exceeding hundreds of miles per hour. Though potentially smaller than tsunamis triggered by shallow underwater eruptions or major earthquakes, these waves could still inundate vulnerable low-lying coastal zones, leading to localized flooding and damage. The potential fallout from such an event extends beyond immediate physical destruction. The eruption could disrupt critical shipping lanes, sever undersea communication cables that support global digital infrastructure, and release superheated water and volcanic gases that temporarily alter local ocean chemistry. In more extreme cases, the seismic unrest could interact with nearby fault systems, possibly influencing tectonic activity along the Juan de Fuca Ridge, or even unsettling the fragile equilibrium of the Cascadia subduction zone, an area long recognized as a candidate for a future megathrust earthquake. Preparedness hinges on the ability to detect early signs of volcanic unrest. Recent advances in seafloor monitoring, using tools like pressure sensors, underwater seismic arrays, and satellite-based observation systems, have enhanced scientists' capacity to monitor magma movement, surface deformation, and other precursors to eruption. These innovations grant a critical window of time for issuing alerts and coordinating emergency responses, potentially saving lives and mitigating damage. Beneath the surface of axial seamount lies a dynamic and restless system, driven by the slow but relentless inflation of a subterranean magma chamber. This reservoir of molten rock, fed by deep upwellings from the Earth's mantle, gradually accumulates magma, exerting increasing pressure on the crust above. Over time, the buildup causes the seafloor to bulge and deform, a phenomenon meticulously documented by researchers through satellite and ocean-based instruments. This outward swelling is not merely a geophysical curiosity, it is a harbinger of potential upheaval. When the surrounding rock can no longer contain the internal force, magma finds its escape through fractures, erupting with a force powerful enough to reshape vast stretches of the ocean floor and disrupt marine ecosystems in its wake. Recent upticks in regional seismic activity suggest that this inflation process may be accelerating, raising the possibility of more frequent or more intense eruptions. The geological setting of axial seamount further amplifies this potential. Located along the Juan de Fuca Ridge, a divergent boundary where tectonic plates drift apart at a rate of several centimeters per year, the seamount sits atop a fracture-prone stretch of the Earth's crust. This gradual separation generates a network of faults and weaknesses, opening conduits for magma to rise. In periods marked by heightened tectonic stress, especially during seismic episodes, these fissures may widen, providing magma with a more immediate path to the surface. If you found this video eye-opening, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss an update from the edge of science. Stay curious, stay informed, and remember what's out of sight isn't always out of danger. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.